Lacks Anguish here. So today is the next episode about willpower and cultivation of willpower. And this exercise will be for this time the last one. And this exercise really is potent, powerful and includes all three body, mind and soul. It's the spirit, the mentality and the bodily health, empowerment and cultivation of willpower. And what this simply is, is meditation, but not any type of meditation, a meditation that includes a asana, asana which came out of the Hinduism, which is called bodily posture. For me, what type of asana I am regularly meditating to daily day basis is the cross-legged asana. What you must look upon when you practice meditation on a daily basis is your back is as comfortably straight as possible, that you have a controlled and eased up posture, that means you have scanned every part of the body, every part of the body has its, is situated, but it's not tied up, you know, you shouldn't have any tightness in your muscles, in your nervous systems, not in your eyes, not by your mouth, not by your muscles on your face, not in your hand, not at your shoulders, not at your back, not at your buttocks, not at your feet, no, not at your legs, everything just must be straight, straight and aligned, and just being in this posture, you know, cross-legged posture, spine straight, everything is in alignment, everything is in posture, but not, but not tight, you know, not like you must hold something, but just it is, it is in posture and this is a meditation alone to just look and to sense in a body where you like see yourself and feel yourself tightening up, you must lose yourself up. You must know, you must ease yourself up every time you do that. It's an exercise of a mind of self-control, you know? So, but the masterclass or the minimum thing for a magician or a spiritual aspirant is you should master a bodily posture for at least one hour straight. You know, when you have reached one hour meditation in one posture and you do it regularly on a daily basis, it, it comes just naturally to you. Then you know you have mastered a bodily posture. So it only becomes more and more a mental and a soul exercise. You know, meditation, you're exploring your inner psyche, you're exploring your light and shadow aspects of, of both yourself you are healing and you are letting go of all of these built-in energies and impressions throughout the day and not through the meditation. And meditation is really potent when you're doing it right daily, like meditation you must be doing daily until the, your last breath. You know it is a discipline when you really want the benefits you must do it as a lifestyle, not as a hobby as a challenge, lifestyle. This must, this you must keep in your mind, in your heart. This is a lifestyle. The challenge of the hobby. You must practice meditation and bodily self-discipline daily if you want to have its benefits on the long term. And yeah, include meditation in the cross-legged position, back straight every day for at least one hour or building from 10 minutes, then every week 5 minutes and next week 5 minutes, like then it's 20 minutes, like you build yourself up to one hour. And then when you have done that, like you are exercising on a daily basis, you are fasting on every month, you are doing the things daily that you don't like, plus you are regularly meditating. meditating. Just imagine how much powerful your willpower, your mental strength, your mental health and self-control would be if in doing this on a long period of time. Just imagine it. Or than that, Naga bless, and we surely see and hear us again.